Finding the area of a triangle is a state performance indicator all fifth graders should be able to know. There is a formula to find that area. A is area equals one half base times height. Base, height. On a right triangle, we're looking for the right corner with a right degree angle. This is considered the height of the triangle. The bottom is considered the base. In a triangle like this, we have to look for the dotted line and find the right angle. This line is now considered the height, and the bottom line is considered the base. To find the area of this triangle, you would need to know the measurement of the line in the center. Let's use three, for example. And we're going to label this inches. We'll use the base, and we'll call it four inches. Following the formula, I'll multiply base times height. Base is 4, height is 3. We get a product of 12. Now we have to take half of 12. Half of 12 is like a fraction, 12 over 2. To divide 12 by 2, we would get an answer of 6. Inches is our measurement. We have to label it inches, and because we're talking about area, we're going to put an exponent of 2. We read that answer as 6 inches squared. Now let's take a look at the right triangle and use some other numbers. Let's say, for example, our base on this triangle is 5, and we'll call this feet. And we'll let our height on this triangle be 6 feet. Once again, the area of a triangle says area equals one-half base times height. Five is our base. Our height is six. And you're noticing I'm putting a dot. That means to multiply an algebra. Five times six is 30 feet. But remember, we have to take half of that, so we're going to divide it by two. 30 divided by two will give us an answer of 15. Our measurement is feet, and we have to put the exponent of 2. Again, we read area A equals 15 feet squared. The reason we're taking half is that both this triangle and this triangle are half of an area of a square or a rectangle. 